Hello friends, it's me Nishi here with a new video on Kingdom Monera. Okay, so you know Kingdom Monera is a kingdom of prokaryotes. Okay, and bacteria are the sole members. So bacteria are the sole members of this kingdom. Bacteria are the sole members of this kingdom. Then on the basis of rRNA genes, Monera have two major groups. On the basis of what? R RNA genes. Bacteria is of two groups that is Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. So now looks look at Archaebacteria. Let's look at Archaebacteria. So there are two two types of kingdom only that is two. They are divided into Archaebacteria and Eubacteria. As you see, as the name suggests, Arche. A starts Arche, right? So it starts with A. So ancient bacteria. Archaebacteria are ancient bacteria. And if you see here U bacteria. U means like true, right? So U bacteria for True bacteria. Okay, U bacteria, these two rhyme with each other. U true, U true. So, U bacteria for true bacteria. So, RK bacteria, ancient bacteria, and U bacteria, true bacteria. So, again, RK bacteria is divided into three halophiles, thermoacidophiles, and methanogens. And U bacteria is divided into two that is bacteria and cyanobacteria. Now let's talk about Archaebacteria. Archaebacteria is the oldest living beings and most primitive bacteria or monerans. Okay, uh, so uh, they are a special kind of bacteria because they can live in some of the most harsh habitats. So Archaebacteria, ancient bacteria, can live in the most harsh habitats. You can just memorize this uh, by uh, knowing that we all know that ancient people have uh, lived in such harsh places, right? They know how to live in the harsh places. Just like that, ancient bacteria also can live in the harsh places. Okay, now let's look at halophiles, thermosidophiles and methanogens. First, halophiles. They live in extremely salty areas, okay? And halobacterium found in the Dead Sea and Great Salt Lake cannot live in less than 3 molar NaCl concentration. I am just telling this uh, for you to know. And then they grow in concentrated salt solution due to accumulation of KCl. So they can uh, grow in uh, in this concentrated salt solutions, okay? And that's due to the accumulation of KCl. KCL due to the accumulation of KCL, they can live in the uh, in high that is concentrated salt solution. Now uh, they are aerobes, okay? They are aerobes. An example of halophiles are Halococcus and Halobacterium, just like the name. Then we have thermoacidophiles, which live in hot springs or deep sea water. Okay, hot springs or deep sea water. Halo, halogens that is salty. Okay, that's why uh, they live in salty areas. And here, thermo. Thermo means it's a uh, hot, right? So hot springs or deep sea water and the examples are thermococcus and they are aerobes or anaerobes. They can be aerobes or they can be anaerobes. Next we have methanogens. This is very important. They live in the marshy areas. M. Methanogens, marshy areas. And um, what happens is they produce methane gas. They produce methane gas and methanogens are present in the gut of several ruminant animals. Okay, gut of ruminant animals like cow. Okay, cow, like cow, buffaloes and are responsible for the production of biogas. They are responsible for the production of biogas that is methane. Okay, and uh, and from the dung of these animals. Okay, we, uh, we uh, produce biogas from the dung of these ruminant animals. Like so, they are present in the gut of ruminant animals and their dung produces biogas that is methane. An example of these bacteria are methanobacterium and methanococcus. They are obligate anaerobes. So, halophiles are aerobes, thermoacidophiles can be aerobes or anaerobes and methanogens are obligate anaerobes. Okay? And now we have you bacteria. That is true bacteria. They are called true bacteria. They are characterized by the presence of a rigid cell wall and if motile a flagellum. So if they are motile they have a flagellum. So first is bacteria which is the most abundant. So there are four categories of bacteria that is cocci, bacilli, spirilla and vibrio. We all know that right. Cocci means those are round like this and bacilli means rod shape like this. Spirilla means spiral shape and vibrio means coma shaped. Okay, so these are the types of bacteria. And uh, we have so much things to learn in this bacteria that is father of bacteriology is Anton von Leeuwenhoek. Okay, Anton von Leeuwenhoek is father of bacteriology. 
and a bacteria also live in extreme habitats such as hot springs desert snow and deep ocean where very few other life found can live okay so there are many parasites okay most of the bacteria are parasites and a uh, cocci is the smallest in size so this cocci that is round one right that is the smallest in size then we will look at the cyanobacteria that is blue green algae bga cyanobacteria that is blue green algae bga okay they are gram negative unicellular colonial or filamentous and they are freshwater marine or terrestrial so when they are present in colony okay colony with mucilaginous sheath is called filament so those colony with mucilaginous a uh, sheath is called filament and without sheet is called trichom so with sheet is filament and without sheet is called trichom okay and uh, what happens is cell wall of uh, back uh, this uh, big blue green algae bga have peptidoglycan so their cell wall have peptidoglycan and they have chlorophyll a they have chlorophyll a similar to the uh, similar to green plants and also have phycocyanin and phycoerythrin they also have phycocyanin and phycoerythrin which are present in bacteria so uh, chlorophyll a which is similar to green plants and also have phycocyanin and phycoerythrin which are in present in bacteria so this phycocyanin and phycoerythrin are in present in bacteria but this blue green algae that is a type of eu bacteria have that okay then uh, they are photosynthetic autotrophs they are photosynthetic autotrophs and in blue green algae photosynthesis occurs in chromatophores or membranous lamellae so where does photosynthesis happen here in chromatophores or membranous lamellae then uh, the cyanobacteria nostoc anabina and oscillatoria perform oxygenic photosynthesis okay so which all uh, perform oxygenic photosynthesis cyanobacteria nostoc anabina and oscillatoria so cyanobacteria or nostoc or anabina or oscillatoria they all perform oxygenic photosynthesis then reserve food material here is uh, cy uh, cy cyanophycine granule or alpha granule okay there is the reserve food material in blue green algae then uh, they have uh, they reproduce by vegetative and asexual method they reproduce by both asexual and uh, vegetative methods then other thing about this is that unicellular uh, uh, blue green algae reproduce asexually by fission example spirulina so spirulina uh, reproduce asexually by fission and flagella is absent in this okay but they move by gliding okay they move by gliding but uh, flagella is absent here and nostoc and anabina fix atmospheric nitrogen in specialized cell called heterocyst so there is the specialized cell called heterocyst okay in nostoc and anabina which fix atmospheric nitrogen in this a uh, specialized cell so this specialized cell help the nostoc and anabina to fix atmospheric nitrogen then spirulina is a great nutritional value and as a good source of uh, scp and vitamin b12 so what happens is uh, this spirulina spirulina is a good source of uh, many uh, many things that is a good nutritional value as they have good source of single cell protein and vitamin b12 this is very important okay b12 vitamin b12 and single cell protein okay that's present in spirulina so it is of good great nutritional value then we have this uh, during uh, during rain and all the land is slippery right and that's due to blue green algae only okay so blue green algae is the reason why the land is slippery during the rainy times now let's look at actinomycetes so actinomycetes is a mycelial that is they are accepted branched filamentous okay mycelial actinomycetes is accepted branched and filamentous okay a b f a b f so accepted branched filamentous okay actinomycetes then radiating colonies in culture that is ray fungi so ray fungi forms this radiating colonies in culture the number of antibiotics are produced by actinomycetes especially genus streptomyces okay so number of antibiotics are uh, pr produced by this actinomycetes then they are saprotrophic 
and example are actinomyces and streptomyces etc next we have mycoplasma which is the smallest monarin so smallest monarin is mycoplasma and they are pleomorphic that is they are flexible in shape as they lack cell wall for example take the example of a slime mold here yeah, sorry slime we all know slime right so when we put this uh, slime in a box if we cannot uh, move it we can just shake the box but this slime is not flexible inside this tight box but when you take out the slime from this box what happens it is very flexible you can mold it in any shape so just like that this mycoplasma since they lack cell wall they are flexible okay and they are called pplo that means pleuronemonia like organisms and they are insensitive to antibiotics that affect cell wall synthesis like penicillin so why they are insensitive to such antibiotics like penicillin because such antibiotics like penicillin affect cell wall and here in mycoplasma this cell wall is absent so they uh, do not affect such uh, such uh, penicillin like antibiotics do not affect them then they can survive without oxygen so this mycoplasma can survive without oxygen the saprotrophs or parasitic on humans plant and animals so they are saprotrophic and may be parasitic on humans plants and animals also